Hey, this is James Cisneros, and I'm here to talk to you guys about the S Arc. So my first thought on the S Arcs were it was a modified accent. They just took the same shoe shape and just kind of listened to, I guess, all the negative words about it and just fixed it up entirely. It was definitely one of those shoes that once I got it out of the box, it was already just full flex. I mean, you can do anything to the shoe now at this point, but when I did get it, it was one of those, like, you put it on your foot, you kind of can lift it up a little bit on the toe, which I kind of enjoy. I just like being able to just freely move my foot around and my shoes aren't so big and bulky that I can't, you know, feel anything. But this one, you can feel everything in it. The lacing for it was something that I've never experienced. It was a shoe that once it locked in, like it really just set in there. It was, there was no moving whatsoever from side to side. My foot didn't come loose. There was no give on it. Um, the tongue bands were a nice plus. It never really felt like the shoe was super loose on my foot where when I had the accents, I had an issue where I felt like my heel would kind of slip out in the back every now and then. But with these, like, it was just locked in, secure, and my foot wasn't going anywhere. Um, it does have the added little beads that kind of make it last a little bit longer on the toe. I never burnt through the toe, which is a good thing. I did get the ollie hole, but that's just gonna come naturally to anyone who skates. I noticed that probably within three weeks, I had gone through the actual beads and made it all the way through both layers. But once I did start ripping into it, I wasn't sure if there was just one layer of suede separating me and them. But if you, I don't know if you can see inside, but there's two, maybe even three layers in there, which always thankful for is the extra layering. Some shoes only have one layer and then you rip through it and then there you are, you are you're already in your sock. It was the same grip as the accents. It was grippy. Um, it's kind of wearing down, as you can see now, but any shoe's gonna do that. It didn't seem like they added any new sole to the bottom of this. This is just the classic um, vulcanized sole that w did come in the accent. It was the ultimate vulcanized shoe. Um, definitely would suggest going out and skating big things with these. You definitely would feel the impact for sure through these. Um, but if you just want like good comfort and something that flicks really good, this is definitely the shoe for you. The little bumps definitely add a little help to your flick. Like the first week, just, I don't know, something about it, like everything felt really good when I flipped it. My main high points of the shoe by far is the little extra bumps that make it last longer. You have the better lacing system that is more secure and once it's locked in there, it's locked in. I'm a fan of low profile shoes because I like to skate kind of smaller things, I guess you can say, ledges and manuals and stuff like that. So this was the perfect shoe for me. Because it really is probably one of my most favorite shoes out of the line so far. This is James Cisneros. I've been talking to you guys about the S Arc. If you guys have any questions or comments, drop them in the box below. Or head over to tactics.com and snatch you up a pair.